Welcome to Applying Sport and Exercise Sciences to Coaching. This is a really exciting applied module that's going to help you better meet the needs of current or future athletes or participants in your chosen role within sport and fitness. Throughout this module, you will enhance your scientific knowledge, your analysis skills, and your ability to develop effective coach-athlete relationships, whilst also reflecting on your own practice in a sport and fitness setting. As you investigate and apply aspects of anatomy and physiology, athlete monitoring, movement analysis, and strength and conditioning training methods, you will enhance your understanding of the human body, movement, and performance, and how to apply these to coaching scenarios. Move, bring it up now, up, up, up. In the first study topic, you'll discover what sport and exercise science is, and then take a close look at coaching and some myths around what good coaching looks like. For example, what are the main types of knowledge you need and what kind of outcomes would you expect of people who are being coached well? You'll see that great coaching is not just about technical knowledge or the competition results. Study topic two is anatomy and physiology with a twist. You'll develop a sound understanding of the five systems that we cover, skeletal, muscular, cardiovascular, respiratory and the nervous systems. Developing your understanding of anatomy and physiology will give you the underpinning knowledge to then explore the role of athlete monitoring, biomechanics and strength and conditioning across study topics 3 and 4. The methods used in athlete monitoring and biomechanics will help you to understand how an athlete's training, sleep, nutrition, hydration and technique are impacting upon the body and thus on performance. In study topic 4, you will engage with strength and conditioning principles. Starting with fitness testing, you will then apply training interventions for strength, speed, power and endurance while gaining the knowledge to plan periodised programmes to meet an athlete's needs. Study Topic 5 is made up of three different options. The first explores athletic development in children, the training that children may engage in and busts some of the myths around whether children should lift weights. The second topic looks at the opposite end of the spectrum, the ageing athlete. Getting older shouldn't mean the end of resistance training or competing at any level. And in this option, we consider how older athletes can be coached to perform optimally and explore the challenges ageing athletes may experience. The third topic explores the physiological effects on the body when performing in a variety of environmental conditions. Coaches working with athletes that are training or competing in a range of conditions should be aware of various acclimation methods and the physiological adaptations these bring about. In study topic six, we explore some more illuminating examples of how science applies to coaching. You'll see how the most effective coaches are really self-aware and think carefully about how they apply scientific knowledge. You'll see a range of examples from a running coach working in the extreme cold of the Arctic to a Californian swimming coach who has challenged tradition. We also focus on the numerous people who can help coaches make more sense of their coaching practice. You will learn about who these people are and how they can influence and change a coach's practice for the better, particularly by helping coaches question some of their existing beliefs and ideas. As you have heard, there are many areas of sport and exercise science to explore across the six study topics. Ultimately, this module will allow you to become more effective coaches, meeting the needs of each and every individual that you coach in the sport and fitness environment you choose to work in.